Construction of World Trade Center through fascinating photos. The World Trade Center project was initiated in the early 1960s through the influence of David Rockefeller in part to reclaim a part of the city that had fallen on hard times. The vision was meant to use the trade facility and urban renewal as tools to clear and revitalize what had become a commercial slum. The construction of the towers yielded not only a new frontier for business but also the landfill for a new shore on the banks of the Hudson. The project, developed by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey R was originally planned to be built on the east side of Lower Manhattan, but the New Jersey and New York state governments could not agree on this location. After extensive negotiations, the New Jersey and New York state governments agreed to support the World Trade Center project, which was built at the site of Radio Row in the lower west side of Manhattan, New York City. After a search that engaged dozens of architects and many months, Yamasaki's firm, of Troy, Michigan, was chosen as the design architect and Emery Roth and Sons as associate architects for the assemblage of buildings that were to comprise five of the buildings within the World Trade Center complex, including both towers. He was well enough known in 1963 to be chosen for the cover of Time magazine. At the same moment, he was much criticized for his almost servile attendance to the needs of large corporations. And yet, Yamasaki brought a certain sensitivity of material and form that had been missing from previous proposals for the World Trade Center site. His words were often self-deprecating, humorous, and displayed an interest in pursuing a personal vision for a new architecture, even amid the gigantic scale of the forms he was designing. Yamasaki's final design for the World Trade Center was unveiled to the public on January 18, 1964, with an eight-foot model. The towers had a square plan, approximately 207 feet, 63 m, in dimension on each side. The buildings were designed with narrow office windows, only 18 inches, 45 centimeters, wide, which reflected Yamasaki's fear of heights and desire to make building occupants feel secure. The building of the towers was an endeavor at the scale of municipal infrastructure. Five streets were closed and clearance of the site provided 16 acres for the new project. Two subway lines on the site were kept running as the foundations and basements were built around them. Construction began in 1965 and it was formalized with a groundbreaking ceremony on August 5, 1966, and finally completed with the occupation of Tower 1 in 1970 and Tower 2 in 1972. In total, the entire complex contributed to Lower Manhattan more than 10 million square feet of office space, several hundred hotel suites, the most successful retail center in the city, an extremely busy transportation hub, and dozens of service and support businesses in seven buildings. Construction of the towers was a unique engineering challenge from the very beginning. With the excavation of the foundations, the construction team had to find solutions to problems never before encountered at such a scale. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel.